Hello everybody. Harlowton Rygate accomplished something on Friday night its football program hadn't done since 2003 when it won a first round playoff game against Knoxon. It was also the Engineers first playoff victory at the six man level. Engineers head coach John Micey was a player on Harlow's last team to win in the postseason, but this one was awful sweet. More than I can put into words. I, I can honestly say I think it feels better as a coach because I know what it felt like to be as a player and that's so badly what I wanted for these kids to experience. For them to get to experience that, I, I can't even put into words how that feels. This whole uh, week, we, that's kind of been our thing. Like We want to be that team that ends that drought for Harlow. We've had teams that have been good enough, but they just don't ever have it at the end of the season. It's kind of nice that we have a core group of kids. We've been in the weight room for four years. It's just been a big thing of our like coaches pushing us to be better. And it's just, it's it's really nice for us to come through and finally get a playoff game for Harlow and win the first central uh, division title. The engineers had to battle their opponent as well as the elements on Friday night. Temperatures were in the 20s and snow fell heavy throughout the game, but Harlow Rygate was prepared for it. Micey even commented he was surprised the snow was falling straight down rather than sideways. You know, the benefit of Montana weather, especially Harlow weather, is if you don't like it, wait five minutes and it'll change. We've had this all week, so I think we were a little bit more prepared. You know, a lot of parts of the state, if you looked, didn't have the snow, didn't have the cold. We were out in it all week practicing. I think we were prepared for it. Played right into our hand, actually. you, you got to be pretty mentally tough. Um, you know, all week we've been in this stuff, so we knew it was coming, and so we just prepared ourselves all week for this. And if you look closely, you can see skull and crossbone stickers across the helmets of the engineers. They're similar to the Buckeye on the helmets of Ohio State football players and provide Harlow Rygate with a little added incentive as the stickers only come following a victory. I think that's a little added perk and you know that's something we did when I was in high school. I really liked it. I thought it gave some accountability. You know, when you look at the kids who have the big stickers, they're making the big plays. You know, and that, that's the reality, but it also gives accountability to everybody. I give them for 100 yards of offense, so even the linemen are getting them. And I just think it's, it's kind of a cool thing. The kids really seem to like it. The engineers won't be as fortunate to play at home in the quarterfinals as they'll have to make the long trip east to play Freud Medicine Lake. The engineers could be a handful for the Red Hawks, though, as Harlow Rygate features one of the more balanced offensive attacks in six-man football. They can hurt you by both air and ground. We let our defense do its own thing, and we let the offense just kind of, we work on that all the time. We work on cutting routes sharp. We work on our planning. We work on everything with everybody. We have four people that rotate through running backs. It's just kind of a team thing, I guess. It's pretty tough to scout when you've got five kids out of your six starters that can run the ball, and they all bring, bring something special when they run it. They've all got their own style. It's pretty tough to stop. Harlow Raggate has one playoff win under its belt and is looking to keep the train rolling. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.